So I'm Ben Deacon, um, I'm a painter, this is my work, and um, yeah, based in London, and we're in Studio 1.1 in Redchurch Street. <laughs> don't know how, <laughs> whether I discovered it or whether I just, uh, just enjoyed drawing and painting as a kid and just kept doing it really. I mean, there's obviously some very obvious references in the, paint, in the paintings. Um, this uh, is a group of American landscape painters who I'm sort of uh, alluding to in these paintings. Um, Thomas Cole and Albert Bierstadt are some of the, the more, uh, more famous ones. Turner, of course, you can't be into landscape painting without talking about Turner. Um, but I mean, all of the greats, you know, Rembrandt and all these people. Uh, in terms of more contemporary artists, um, uh, I don't know, don't know where to begin. There's a lot of um, reference to some of the German Leipzig school of painters, so, uh, Neil Raum and uh, Matthias Fleischer, uh, people like that. Probably. They're all in the background. But, yeah, there's lots. Uh, this one specifically is um, inspired by. I'm talking in very pragmatic terms. Um, this is a sort of 19th century landscape from, a, um, from an American painter, um, Albert Bierstadt of Yosemite National Park. Um, the reason that's in there is because that sort of um, that was a kind of turning point cult culturally in terms of how people thought about landscape, and thought about mountains, and how they what they represented to um, to Western culture. So that's, that's one aspect of it, but then there's other elements in here which are more like uh, uh, there's elements of sort of street furniture from around London or you know, kind of fairly banal bits of uh, kind of thing you might see in a, a, road, a roadside or a railway cutting. So why all these things come into the paintings is, I, I don't really know, it's part of the process. Slow development from an initial sketch, perhaps, or something I've seen, um, an exhibition I've been to, or something I've seen in a book, um, or a place I've been. Um, but the, the paintings almost quite often dictate how, how the composition goes through the process of making. So nearly all of the ones in here started out with one idea and then it's completely changed. But the drawing is quite a big part of the process and taking lots of photographs of different places in the They don't necessarily feature directly, but they're always in the background. Keep, keep going, really, because um, if there's something you really feel very strongly about and uh, passionate about, then um, you just got to keep doing it. It's, it's, it's always a bit of a struggle, usually, um, but often the struggle can make the work better too, so you just 